What's up guys, it's Nick with Full Throttle Cars. So I just woke up this morning, I'm heading to work right now, but I was going down the hill and at the bottom of the hill, I got a check engine light and my throttle wouldn't respond to me pressing it. So I got to the bottom of the hill and I couldn't go forward basically, but I was still like creeping forward as you wouldn't drive if you're just not pressing the throttle but the check engine light popped up, so I put the car in park, turned off the car, and then turned it back on, and it was good. It, the check engine light is still on, I'll show you that in a minute. But then I had a warning pop up on the screen, which I will check whenever I get to where I'm going, and I'll show you that, but I don't believe I can look at it as I'm driving. But right now, I'll show you the check engine light and explain what that message said. All right guys, so you can see the check engine lights on there. I'm almost at 87,000 miles already on this car. I have put quite a bit on it. And if we look over here, currently it's just showing the radio station, but whenever the light popped up and I turned on and off my car, I had a little message, like in, it was a little envelope, like he basically like he got an email or a message or whatever. I clicked on that and it said check now or check later. It wouldn't let me check now. I assume that's because I was driving. So I will look into that once I get to where I'm going and I will show you what it is. But what it said was, I don't know fully exactly what it said off the top of my head, but it was some kind of issue with the throttle is what it said. So once I get where I'm going and I find the message, I will get back to you guys and let you know. Alrighty guys, I got where I was going. So this is the throttle system message. You can click the voice and it will read you something, but basically what it was saying is exactly what you can read here on the message. The throttle may not operate properly. Acceleration may be reduced. It also said the RPMs may remain low, um, but I made it the rest of the way without any problems. I didn't think I had any acceleration problems. Maybe as I was feeling it a little bit, it might have taken a little longer for me to accelerate or for it to recognize the throttle, but I don't really think I had any issues the rest of the way. I also had another light come on right whenever I... The vehicle stability assist and traction. There we go. But I also had the vehicle stability assistant light come on, which is, the button is right here to turn that on and off. It came up right down in this area whenever the check engine light came on the first time, but whenever I restarted my car, that went away and that function normally I was able to turn it on and off and there was no problems with the stability assistant. But we can look here what the message said. It just says it may not operate regular or may not operate the traction control or the stability assistant. The brakes work, which is obviously a good thing. But whenever I clicked the voice, the voice was basically saying the stability assistant traction control, or yeah, traction control may not work correctly. Um, but if you can turn it off and turn it back on and it goes away, then it's fine. If it would stay, you would want to contact your dealer or whatever. But it did turn off and turn back on, or when I turned the car off and back on, the light went off. And I was able to turn it on and off, so that was all fine. Um, but yeah, I will update you whenever I get back from work. Alrighty guys, so an update on the check engine light. Currently, it has gone away. It was two days ago, I believe, as of today. Yeah, it was two days ago from right now, whenever it came on and whenever it quit working as I mentioned previously. I did some research on the air code and it is the pedal or the, in the Honda or Acura, it's called the accelerator pedal position sensor. Other things it's called just like the throttle pedal position sensor or the throttle position sensor basically. It just measures how much you're putting on the throttle, how much you are pressing it down so it knows 
how much gas to give it basically. So I bought the part, we ordered the part in, I got the part in and I'm going to be installing that probably this weekend and I will be making a video on that as well. But that is just a little update for you guys and to recap this video here, just wanted to um, let you know where I was at. When I came back from work that day, it was still on, the check engine light was on. Then later that day, it actually turned off and it has not come back on since. And it's been, the car's been running well. It hasn't had really any problems to that matter. But I figured I would go ahead and replace it now since I have the part anyway to prevent anything like that happening in the future because I was lucky that it happened when I did. I was on my back road, my township road, so there wasn't really any other cars there because what happened was, I mentioned it previously, but I was going, I was just driving along and then all of a sudden my car, I, can't, I slowed down to a stop to let somebody go past me coming the other way so I pulled off to the side a little bit and then I couldn't accelerate anymore and my check engine light my uh, stability assistant light came on and I couldn't accelerate so I had to put my car in park turn it off turn it back on and then check engine light was still on but I was able to drive it and accelerate so that was the problem and then it was the accelerator position sensor accelerator pedal position sensor rather and I bought that and I will be installing it again this weekend. So if you want to check that out or if you've had the similar problem with the car, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and drop a like and I will see you in the next video.